Okay, this is Michael Dillon. The other day we made a repair on a Leviton 30 slash 50 amp dual power plug. So today we got the new one and uh, I just want to do an unboxing for you. This one is set up for two configurations. Uh, this is the standard 50 amp RV and this one is typically for a stove or some other kind of appliance. So it uh, comes with the plastic housing and that's the strip gauge and it also comes with an instruction manual. It comes with all these brand new pieces. So uh, I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a look at the instructions. It's a lot of information. These are only about 20 bucks. So I'm going to freeze that if you want to take that number down. Looks like the catalog number is 275, and there's the rating, so you can uh, definitely, oh, Canada for use, a lot of information here. There's an 800 number you can call if you have a hotline or any questions. Uh, we're going to uh, open this up and look at the instructions and see uh, the actual proper way to put this on. Okay, so the package is open. Inside, I'll call this the housing. It's basically a blank, pops open, and there's the cutouts. So in our situation, we're just going to use this bottom one as a straight blade. It's not going to have that angle. And in this top one right here, that's the ground. And the left one and the right one, those are your hot legs. And these are all of our. So this is the one in this kit we do not use. We do not use this angle one. So we will throw that one away or recycle it. Here's the ground. And then here's the two flat blades. And this is the strain relief. And the strain relief goes right in this end, so depending on the size of your wire, the strain relief will vary. So there is the cutout. Let me open that bag. Okay, we got it open. Dump all these little parts out. So these, you can use a flat, a Phillips, or you can use a square. Uh, I like a square because it's a good way to uh, lock in rather than a standard flat that slips off. So we're going to use, uh, <clears throat> gonna use these three. We're not going to use this one. Discarding. We're going to use these two screws to clamp down our enclosure. And this is the strain relief, and this is where the instruction booklet is going to be handy. Because you can put the strain relief this way, if you have a smaller wire, you can turn the strain relief this way if you have a bigger wire. So, some people can't read, like me, and they like to watch YouTube videos to hear verbal instructions, so I might go over these instructions and paraphrase them to help somebody that just wants to listen. Uh, if this doesn't interest you, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you don't have these instructions, so I think what I'll do is I'll add a instruction clip here so that you can have the instructions. And I'll put it in for three seconds. You can pause the video and uh, read the instructions. Looks like it's French in the back, so I'm not going to give you the French version. If you'd like the French version, please let me know in the comments. I'll make another video of about three seconds worth of French instructions, or nine seconds. So here's the good stuff. See that? Green, verde, black, white, red, 
So those are the hot legs. Now it's talking about that strain relief, 0 0.70 diameter. So plus 70 diameter. That has to do with the strain relief. So let's look at that. Oh, now that it, I have a new clean one, I can see. So if your wire is plus 70 diameter, you put it in this way. If your wire is less than 70 diameter, you put it in this way. So let me show you what they're talking about. So right now, there's no strain relief. Well, if we put this in this way, sometimes I wish I had another hand. Let me look at that for a second. So, if we put it in Oh, actually, I should look at the diagram. So it's showing me you want to have it turned this way. Diagram's very good. So if you have the 70 plus 70 diameter this way, it's going to find a hole, a, a slot in here. Ah, there's the slot. So. That's the plus 70 diameter. That's the figure 2B. Now if we turn it around, so let me do that again. So here is the plus 70 diameter. Now if we turn this around, For a smaller wire. So that's the difference, and that says negative 70 diameter. So look at the difference. If I have a skinny wire, let's use my pinky, and then I have a big wire like my thumb, what you need to do is you need to spin it around, and that gives you more room for the bigger cable. You have a smaller cable, you turn it around and then you drop it down in there and it will help the strain relief of a smaller cable. So I think that covers it. There's a nice hinge here so it doesn't fall apart. And then once you put all your wires in, Oh, the strip gauge is important. I'll pause on that for a second and let you have a picture of the strip gauge. And then the way they routed this. So yesterday, I routed the wire there, the hot wire there, and the neutral. But I had the ground wire going in between the hot and the neutral to the right. And I realized that was a bad choice because of the screw. So I pulled them all out and I routed. Make sure that it's hot and then you're ground wire and then your neutral so that's important I'll pause on that for a second and I'll give you one more of those and then there's a cautionary tale right there I'll give you one of those so thank you very much appreciate a like and subscribe maybe we'll do a little addendum of how to hook up this new one and how we take it apart now that we have a cameraman thanks Michael Dillon, appreciate the thumbs up, appreciate subscribes, appreciate shares, and most of all, comments. Tell me uh, what I did wrong, or what you learned, or what you'd like to learn, and uh, we'll try to find some answers. Thanks so much. Have a great one.